We want you to be part of the crew forever. Hey, if you come back in the area and you want to spend a month working with us, just let us know. Or if you ever want to come back full time, let us know. Yeah. You were a pleasure to work with, man. Thank, Thank you so you much. You guys were amazing to work with. I love being with you. Oh, we're going to miss you, man. filled with glee because it's the start of day three. <laughs> we got our client down here picking out boulders with us. We're just picking out the next load of boulders for this awesome large pond. And uh, then we're gonna get back to doing what we do, which today we get to start the creative process where we're gonna spray out the pond, we're gonna start digging it, we're gonna go down our tiers, and we're gonna come up with the master plan. Having fun, sir. Oh, and he's the one providing us with all the drone footage for this. Whole series. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's a foggy morning in Minnesota and we are picking boulders and that is our artisan pile so let's get to it. by 40 foot pond. We're gonna go about six feet deep. We're gonna have jets inside there. Again, we're gonna have an intake bay about here and we'll be setting up a plumbing system so that we kind of have a, a electrical panel here. We have our plumbing manifold where we're sending water every which way. We're gonna have a waterfall coming in kind of by the side of this patio, making its way down into the water here. Um, so a big part of the planning is we're making sure that we get proper currents everywhere. Uh, that's about what we're up to. Yeah, Justin's doing Justin things here. Follow him for a minute. <laughs> that's so awkward. <laughs> Justin spilled coffee Justin all spilled over. Coffee? What? One of our employees. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, cut! Wait. Oh, wait. It's the end of day three, and one, one of our employees, employees spilled coffee, spilled coffee? everywhere. Hey, that's all right. It happens to the best of us. I know. Are one of our employees the, used back the machine into the, the fence too. On that fence post over there? No. Oh. Because I don't know why. I don't know why coffee corrodes fence posts, but there's just this little crack. Man. Just a tiny one. That must have been there. On a part that's really replaceable. Are you having fun, Ron? I said on a part that's really replaceable, easily replaceable. Thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah, it's all right. 
<laughs> you started the day I filled think, with glee because it was the else. start of day Jeff three. And I'll play some cards just to get the day a little more exciting or something. <laughs> some cribbage. Oh, or I'll fall asleep at seven o'clock. Yeah, that's probably what'll really happen. <laughs> Once the sun goes down, how much more can I do, right? Well, th yeah, exactly. All right. Well, that's the end of day three. It was a great day. We got tons of stuff done. We got a lot of soil moved. We got a French drain put in today. Uh, we're getting this build up really happening. Wow, that is uh, very fast for that road. Not cool, not very cool. All right, well, that's it for the day. We'll see you tomorrow. And the lady, and the lady was like, and the lady was like, hey, well, if you can't trust come every him? week, I'm gonna, Nick? I can't, I'm gonna be as a Trying to. Chance like <laughs> Justin yeah, show or? Some people have their philosophy, I guess. Justin needs his own yeah. channel. Definitely. <laughs> He's a flamingo. He showed, uh, he sh she should prove spiders, like the low spiders. Like, uh, I don't like, think like, so. Should, should we pause? Hey, 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 are you ready for some more? Because it's the start of day four. <laughs> Justin was just going on and on in the background. Yeah, I, didn't know we, I know. Start. Yeah, we just had to get a thing to know. <laughs> we just have to. One of our teams. Ah! Oh my gosh. What? One, one I'm sorry to hear that. One of his teammates spilled coffee on himself there. No, one of our teammates. <laughs> All right, well, it's the start of day four. We, we're going to continue digging the pond. Uh, we didn't want to really get to the six foot depth yesterday because of how rocky and sandy the soil was. The reason we were kind of holding off on that is we wanted to be able to have a day to be able to start putting boulders into that bottom tier. And with the way we're having to do this, uh, with the, the ramping system to get down to that six foot depth, we're, we're gonna have to do some things in stages. So uh, today that is the goal is to kind of dig out the bottom tier, get ourselves to that six foot mark, and then work our way out as we're placing boulders and making our way out so that we can, once, once we got the deepest spot rocked in, we can pretty much fold out the rest of the liner, do the rest of the digging, and, and then from there it's just game on and have fun rocking in the liner and rocking in the pond. And then we've got huge buildup happening where we are. You can see where Brad is. It's going to be uh, some big boulders up against this, these trees to protect the trees. Uh, we're going to try and keep a bulk of the liner away from the drip line so that water can still permeate and get down to these roots. Um, we are driving back and forth on them. The cool thing about this is, is there was a water feature here for since 2007. So all the root damage that had been done happened back in 2007 and now it's 2021 and these roots are pretty much accustomed to having things in this area. So we're not really damaging the trees and now we're going to protect them and make sure that they can grow nicely. All right, so Sir Ron up here requested that we tie back these branches if possible. He likes his maple tree. It's a beautiful tree. So, found this little rope, this little horseshoe, the D20. Nick said it was there for this purpose, which I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna try to, you know, throw her over. It's called the up and over? The up and over, tie it, not hit myself on the head. Yeah, you're gonna. Hmm? Oh! Oh, uh, we got yeah, one. How are you, sir? Good. Welcome back. Unbelievable. Hi, Justin's dad. Hi. I know you Ron? from TV. Hey, from, from TV? Was that on the network TV or you cable? Look, you look smaller on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always looks bigger on TV, right? So come on, let's flip it over. It's perfect for I Dave, though. Five, five, five. <laughs> Watch me on Netflix. Obstacle ahead. Where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm uh, it's YouTube, Nick the Pond King. Uh, 
What do you want? Oh, just a new pair on your way. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic. All right, well, we've had an awesome day. That's the end of day four. Tomorrow will be day five, but man, we hit our goals. My main goal was I wanted to get this all the way dug out to that deepest spot, get the liner in and get a few rocks placed. We were able to get our main huge rocks placed in the bottom area. Uh, so we, those are good anchor rocks to start building off of because we have a jump in spot where it'll go right down into the six foot depth. Look how big this pond is. We fit a full excavator right in there and now we're gonna start rocking it in and making it look sweet. We had the time lapse set up so you can see us kind of trying to lift up some of these branches. Maybe you didn't see that too much, but we got some of that on camera for you. Ron had his drone flying all day, so we got a good bunch of good drone footage for you. And we will be back for you tomorrow when we are rocking in the rest of the pond. And Ron, are you having fun? I love Nick's job. <laughs> I love my job too. We'll see you in the morning. I'm back. <laughs> Superhero named Tony. <laughs> What's up, Tony? What are you ready to do today? I'm strapping boulders, I think. Yeah? We're, right? I think so. Is that the plan? Learning, maybe hopping learning. in a machine. Well, learning a ton. Yeah, you're sure. going to be hopping in that excavator. Okay. And learning how to do that at some point. I'm good with that. Awesome. <laughs> I like the hat. Did you say you're adorning the purple, too? Look at that. This is about a superhero named Tony. It's a Tony theme! Tony! Me! Tony! Oh my gosh. It's gonna be a good day. Yes, it is. So thank you for coming. Tony is, uh, what, member Niswa? What's your phone number again? Niswa. Introduce yourself. 612-816-7171. And Tony Marshall, introduce Marshall. yourself, please. Still work. Yeah. Gonna be trying to get into this uh, up in the, in the Brainerd Lakes area. Niswa is where I'm based out of. And, uh, you already have a good reputation running a business yeah, because you're an electrician. Electrical contractor up there, but landscape and uh, this world is just my passion behind the scenes. I made it good in the electrical world. I can't wait to see what it could be getting into a thing that I have a passion about. Awesome. So, uh -huh. Yeah, that's my plan. Sweet. So. I say superhero named Tony because Justin is out of town for these next two days and I said, hey man, is there any way you can come help us for these two days? And he's like, hey, I think I can work it out. And here he is. So he's helping today and tomorrow. We've got our, our team, Mark and Brad are just starting to arrive. Seth is actually coming to help us today, I hope. Uh, he's not here yet, but he's scheduled to be here to help today. So even though he put in his notice and said I have to quit, uh, he's still coming back to help us uh, because he hasn't officially moved away yet. So love when people like that do things like that because that means they they like being in our company they like what we do for a living and uh you know hopefully he can find himself a good good happy spot out in south dakota because he's awesome so that's that's what we're up to we're gonna try and rock in the rest of this pond not really but we're gonna continue rocking in the pond today oh my goodness 
I was just saying, I hope he shows up. <laughs> Animal whisper. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Do you remember Tony? Do. You guys? How you been? Yeah. Hey. Oh, an How organic, you? friendly handshake. Yeah. No, it wasn't staged at all. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well. Time to get to work, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Good, good. <laughs> Did you find any more dead For a team to join, we think we're a good team to join. Ron probably wants to get on our team, but you know he's getting pretty tired at the end of these days. I would join your team in a heartbeat. <laughs> Are I you having need, fun? I just need flex scheduling so I can do my job. Right. That's all. I so, need. Ron, quick question for you. You've been watching our videos, right? Uh, what's the real life experience compared to watching us in videos? Like, what do you think it's like? You know, you're so mean in the videos, and you always mistreat the client. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is fantastic. He says on his videos, they start as clients, they end as friends. Well, we started as friends, became a client, we're even better friends. Oh, yeah. Way. Ron was right there when I went on stage for the first time and I'm super nervous and he just chilled me out and said, don't worry, I got gotcha. you, you're in good hands. And Sometimes you can wreck a friendship by working for or with a friend. Didn't happen here. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, I was oh, gonna say. It's not gonna happen here. <laughs> no, I, I, I've had a blast with you here. And now, uh, do you, like we say on our on the channel a lot, like we love our job and we truly love what we do. Oh, over in a sense of working with us, do you feel like that's actually happening to us? Oh. Not just something we're saying on on oh. camera. You not only love your job, you care about every step and every rock and every angle and every little piece of dirt. It's you know what it is. I think. If I had to just grab something out of midair, it's like getting a living work of art one yard at a time. Oh my gosh, it's like you read our trucks. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. This is the official goodbye to the Animal Whisperer. Goodbye, one. Seth. Keep your gear. You know, you've earned it. We want you to be part of the crew forever. Hey, if you come back in the area and you want to spend a month working with us, just let us know. Or if you ever want to come back full time, let us know. Yeah. You were a pleasure to work with, man. Thank, Thank you so much. You guys were amazing to work with. I love being with you. Oh, we're going to miss you, man. Well, that's going to do it for the end of day seven. Tony, he's heading out too, uh, but hopefully he'll be able to come back and help us. As for us, we're going to be back on Monday, rocking in the rest of the pond, doing what we do, having fun, and making the most of our life while we get to create something cool. Family's here, having fun, <laughs> entertaining. What's up, Emerson? All right, well, that's it. We'll be back. Thank you so much, Seth, for all your service this year. We're going to miss you, buddy. We're feeling great. It's the start of day eight. More like feeling grateful. Look at that. Come to the job site and they got cold beverages for everyone. On ice, in the cooler, ready to roll. We've got hot cold, uh, hot mug of fresh coffee brewed, ready to roll. 
All right, well, you know, when we're doing this, it's not too much to show you. It's, it's really just rocking in the pond and then getting into more technical stuff as we're figuring out the workflow. Uh, I was able to get us a rock delivery set up for Friday morning, so we have the next four days to kind of work and plan and making sure we are ready for that rock delivery. So a lot of what we're gonna do is prep for the waterfall and get ourselves ready to work our way back. And then we're gonna look at doing this intake bay. So we might start uh, building those aqua blocks tomorrow, getting those set up and figuring out how big that intake is gonna be. Uh, and then maybe we're gonna plan on where to put this wetland filter. Cause this could end up changing too, just based on spacing and where everything is kind of currently located. So. Yeah, we do what we do and we're gonna have fun. You gotta be willing to adapt to make sure that the whole process can work the way we need it to. Pond is looking great. I don't see anything that would have fallen in or caused any trouble over the weekend. Got a lot of work to do here. We're gonna keep rocking in the pond. I've got super sacks, so we'll be able to drop those in and fill in a lot of these spaces with gravel. We'll be able to take them back, get them refilled, and do the same thing. We've got to plug all these holes, cover the liner, make sure gravel doesn't fall down the ledge, and then we'll start filling it from there. So plenty, plenty, plenty of work to do here. I think us getting a delivery on Friday is probably gonna work out great with our flow here. Yeah, things are going good. do it for the end of day eight got on a lot of tangents planning thought processes and things like that so we've got a good plan of attack we'll be back tomorrow for day nine and we'll just uh show you how we're feeling fine when oh, day nine gets started i was gonna say we'll be feeling fine day nine all right we'll be back day 10 storm came through and brought with it some cold temperatures so we are getting back to our seasonable temperatures here in late october uh, well, mid october, mid -October and, uh, we're still gonna have fun and we're gonna keep pushing forward so uh, main goal is to just keep working on this pond and get it rocked in and then we'll switch gears to a small waterfall intake bay and then we'll go to the big waterfall and then we'll do the wetland filter and then the rest of the plumbing on our way out so i think that's the plan thanks for joining us and this is part two and uh, we're gonna get to doing what we do all right talk to you in a bit
Well, the pond is getting closer and closer to being rocked in. I really appreciate our team. Everyone is just plugging away, doing it with a really good grace. Justin took on some of the more complicated areas where you really have to fill a gap in from all the way at this four foot area. Well, it was a four foot tall area on up. And you have to fill that whole gap in with sturdy and stable stuff. He took that on, got that done today. We're working on the intake bay now. And uh, before we do our intake bay, we figured we better figure out what we're gonna end up doing here for this little stream that we have. So we're gonna start making our way to this stream and uh, planning that out. And that's gonna be kind of cool. I'm fun. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I like these little feeder streams. Gonna have some fun. Check out that totally one of a kind coffee table, bench seat. Oh. It's gonna get sealed. It's a live sack. It's already sealed. He sealed it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. He's gonna get me a small can of sealer just to just to hit it up again. All right, so we've got our feeder stream we we're working out details on. We did a lot of work there. Stone work, gravel work. Justin took on some of that hard stuff. The team just fired well today. Brad has a day off tomorrow, but we will be back at it, doing what we can to move forward. See you tomorrow. Man, you look angelic right here. Sun coming up behind you. <laughs> That's true. Have you ever seen the movie Lucky Number Slevin? Ah, uh, it's wow. the start of day 11. Wow, <laughs> that was cheap. Yeah, well. <laughs> Here I am in the bottom of the pond where, I don't know, I'd say we're about 95% rocket or 90% rocket. Uh, what I want to show you is from down here, before we fill it in, all the meticulous detail that we put in to not only making sure the rocks are secure, they're not gonna fall, but also to fill those cracks in really nicely. So it really helps stabilize things, make it look nice, and it also helps corral the fish when you wanna do a spring cleaning. So we found any ones that we, we have huge holes, the fish will go back there and they'll be able to hide which isn't terrible they usually survive you know we'll keep some on purpose for the look you know i think that looks cool but as we go up you imagine not only just putting these rocks here but like this whole this whole vein right here this section took me i did it myself basically with a little bit of help but that whole section took me probably a whole day maybe a little more just to make sure that everything is secure and plugged in and looks nice because this is going to be a place where you can jump off and jump in and really light. This huge rock right here, eight foot tall rock, is gonna be a place where you can jump in. So if you wanted this to be really inviting, you had to hide the area, but you also have to make it strong. And we try to fill all those gaps meticulously. So we want to make sure all the rocks, even if they're protruding out, are strong to stand on and walk on. You know, this has a point sticking out, but it's super strong. So yeah, down in the bottom of a six foot pond is what it looks like. Get the action shot, man. <laughs> Look at that driftwood. So I gotta get that action shot. <laughs> what? All right, right Spielberg. <laughs> deal with. This is what I <laughs> Update. I 
think Justin was showing off the awesome tree stump we had saved by the pond company for a while. Got this in a real cool spot. So when you're sitting at the bonfire pit over there, you'll really have a cool spot to look at this. We're gonna probably do a little planting behind here. We've got our feeder waterfall coming in. Water's gonna come falling in behind that driftwood and then come underneath it. That's gonna look really good. We're gonna block out a lot of that road noise by putting this waterfall here and positioning where it is because a lot of that sound is gonna come right up this hill. And so by having a source of sound, this awesome running waterfall, we're gonna block out a lot of that road noise so your ear goes to this. So when you're sitting, enjoying the awesome coffee table with your legs up, you'll be hearing that. Right now the guys are working on a technical area. It's technical because it has to kind of be pretty close to where we need it to be. Uh, we've got 20 aqua blocks. That's because we have two large pumps that are gonna be kind of sitting in that area over there. Those pumps are going to be uh, pulling water out of those four pump housing vaults over there. It's gonna be a 10 foot by eight and a half foot hole. So we're gonna go 10 feet this way and eight and a half this way. That's gonna make this pond feel like it's even that much larger. What a cool project. So we got the bulk of the hole dug for our intake bay. That's pretty complicated because there's a lot of thought process. Basically that has to be perfect because you're setting the water line now. So it's very much like putting in a skimmer except for it's huge and uh, there's a lot more moving parts. So it takes a lot of time. We got a lot of good things happening though. This is really coming together and I can't wait till it's all the way put together. It is gonna look sweet. I'm loving it. Well, that's gonna do it for the weekend. You guys have a nice weekend. We'll be back. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.